Hi students, today we are going to study about another topic in embedded firmware development languages that is high level language. How we can uh, write a program based on high level languages. Okay, so what are the high level languages like uh, C, C++, etc. These are all high level languages that we can use for writing program in embedded system. Okay. So the embedded firmware can be written in any high level languages like C or C++ or any high level language we can write the program. But the one thing that we require is a software utility called a cross compiler. <coughs> so what is the purpose of cross compiler? So we can write the program in a common language. Okay. But for each processor or each controller, there will be a specific machine code that is understandable by that particular processor or controller. The machine code is target specific. Target means processor specific. Okay. Only the processor can understand a particular type of machine code uh, that is designed exclusively for that particular processor. Okay. So, for each and every processor, there are different cross compilers. Okay, for example, if you take a 8086 processor, we are writing a program in C language. Okay, one concept or uh, the programming and the concept will be same. So, we are writing a program using C language. Then, we are converting that program to a machine code using the cross compiler that is specific for this particular 8086 processor ok and the same program we can use for 8051 also but we need a another cross compiler that is specific for 8051 that is the concept ok so the software utility called a cross compiler converts the high level language to target specific machine code okay for each processor there will be a specific machine code so to that machine code we have to convert okay so when we are converting or when we are performing this cross compilation operation each cross compilation module will generate a corresponding object file okay then again this object file uh, doesn't contain the absolute address where the generated code need to be placed or it has to be located okay. so that will be done by a block called a linker or locator okay there we will arrange all the uh, locations uh, and we will provide uh, this code to the particular program memory okay the software program that is called a linker and locator is responsible for assigning absolute address to object files during the linking process okay so we, we will have a different object files and it, it is not possible to identify where it has to be uh, located okay where the address is present okay where we have to assign the address so all these things we have to perform using a software called a linker and locator that will be responsible for assigning absolute address to the object file and multiple objects files will be combined together to form the final object file okay or the absolute object file 
okay so the absolute object file is created from the different corresponding object files okay that is coming out of different source modules okay all these object files are generated by the cross compiler okay so different source code modules contains uh, this information about the address where the instruction need to be placed in the code memory so there there should be a sequence of address then only it will become a meaningful program okay so these addresses will be assigned by the linker or locator so the linker or locator is a software program that will assign addresses to the object files okay so finally the ultimate aim is to convert convert the program to a machine language program that is hexa file hex file okay so again we are using a software utility called a object to hex file converter <coughs> object to hex file converter we will use and using that object to hex file converter we will translate the absolute object file to corresponding hex file or binary file okay that's what we will finally do so this is the steps in converting a high level language to machine language okay so if you compare this block diagram with the previous diagram uh, when we were writing a program in assembly language and we are converting it into hex file okay so instead of this cross compiler we have a assembler right if you remember you can see uh everything is same but here we had a assembler okay instead of this cross compiler module we did have a assembler okay so we have a different modules of program that is source file 1 is there that is written in either c or c++ okay that is module 1 then again module 2 is there that is also written in c++ or c okay then first module is compiled using a cross compiler and an object file is created here second module is compiled using cross compiler and the object file is created here okay then library files are also there library files are predefined programs okay that is also present okay then these library files and objects files will come to the linker or locator so what is the function of linker or locator to assign addresses okay to arrange these object files and uh, library files in a specific order okay so by com by combining these object files and uh, library files uh, an absolute object file will be created an absolute object file will be created okay so this absolute object file will be given to object to hex file converter object to hex file converter and finally uh, we will get a, a hex file that is a machine code okay so what are the advantages of this high level language okay if you are using high level language the developer uh, doesn't need to know about the internal architecture or internal hardware details or anything he can simply write a logical program okay so it will reduce the development time compared to 
assembly language programming if you are using assembly language programming he must know about all the registers all the uh, uh, memory locations and everything okay so if you are using this uh, high level language the developer requires less or little knowledge in the internal hardware details okay but he must know about the uh, memory if you are using a microcontroller he must know about the size of the memory that he is dealing with okay so the program has to match with that size of the memory then only we can dump that program into the program memory okay so uh, he may or may not know about uh, the architecture of the target processor or controller next developer independency okay so there will be a common syntax for c c program or c++ or java or anything okay there is a common syntax if the programmer knows a particular language he can write in his own way but if you are using a assembly language for each processor there will be different syntax okay different addressing modes okay different types of assembly language program we have to write okay that is very difficult okay so the syntax is universal he can use the common syntax for all the programs that is possible okay so it can be easily understandable by any person okay if the programmer if it is writing as modules and modules the programmers can easily understand what the program is about okay next one is portability an application that is written in high level language for a particular target processor or controller can be easily converted to another processor or controller okay if you are writing a program for 8086 the same high level language program can be used for 8051 also but we have to use what a different cross compiler okay so the the function of the cross compiler is to convert uh, the that particular high level language program to that uh, machine uh, sorry object file okay next is drawbacks of this high level language okay the problem is the cross compiler may not be sometimes efficient it may not uh, generate the op, uh, the uh, the addresses that is required for the uh, target processor for specific instructions the sometimes that will happen okay the target images created by such compilers may be messy or non optimized in terms of performance as well as code size sometimes the code size may increase and it will not fit into the targeted microcontroller okay sometimes uh, uh, when we are converting uh, using a cross compiler uh, it may be like uh, uh, it will give some different meaning it may be correct it may not be correctly compiled okay we may not get the uh, targeted object file okay <coughs> and uh, for uh, using this uh, high level language we have to invest for ide tools we have to purchase the integrated development environment tools okay and the investment or price for this uh, development tools are very high compared to the normal assembly language programming okay normal assembly language programming means what if you have the uh, syntax or the mnemonics or the address if you know the addressing modes and everything we can simply write the program okay but sometimes the program may be lengthy or uh, um, it uh, it will be difficult to understand by the pro uh, programmer okay but it requires much time to understand the uh, concept of that processor and uh, to write a program for that processor okay so these are the drawbacks of high level language okay so this is the uh, steps these are the steps that we used to convert a high level language to 
machine code okay the main block is cross compiler okay so thank you for listening to this lecture bye